good morning students today we have to do with the next topic that is contamination of water so let's get started with the topic so first of all we must understand what is contamination of water you are observing a picture over here in this picture you are observing many things are there in water some of the things are physical things some of the things are chemical things some of the things are biological things so let's see the definition of contamination of water so next is what is the definition of contamination of water so contamination it means it is the addition or the entry so addition or the entry of the unwanted and harmful substances okay which the water does not want so that is why such substances are unwanted and if we consume such water it will be harmful to us as well as for the nature and water so the addition or the entry of the unwanted and harmful substances then which type of substances these substances may be the physical substances may be the chemical substances or biological substances okay we will see one by one how physical substances chemical substances or biological substances is added to water and this addition is done by directly or indirectly we can say through man made activities okay so directly or indirectly through the man made activities to drinking water here may we are mainly concerned with the drinking water which cause various types of diseases so the complete definition of contamination of water is the addition or the entry of the unwanted and harmful substances to the man made activities into water which causes various types of diseases so you are observing a picture the drinking water and this drinking water is contaminated is it fit for drinking no it is not fit for drinking and why it is not fit for drinking because there is the addition of many harmful substances into water so if this person is consuming this water there will be the harmful effect on the person okay so let's see what are the ways through which water gets contaminated first of all there is the improper disposal of sewage so first understand let's understand about what is sewage sewage is the waste water sewage is the waste water coming from the household activities like the toilet activity or the kitchen activity so such waste water is known as sewage and if this sewage is improperly disposed either into the surface water body or if there is the leakage of the pipelines then it will also cause the uh, contamination of the ground water so improper disposal of sewage leads to water contamination then the other reason is what defecating or urinating near the water bodies although india or bihar state is also odf now but still we observe many cases where the people are defecating or urinating near the water bodies and in such a way again the water gets contaminated then the animal waste and things from the dairies and poultry so whatever waste if it is and the washings from the dairies and poultry is directly added to the open water body again it will lead to water contamination then industrial waste also cause water contamination so industrial waste containing mercury uh i have one example of it like kyushu bay of japan and japan is very famous for the electronic industry so in that kyushu bay of japan from the electronic industry the waste was containing mercury and this mercury was added to that water body in the kyushu bay fishes consumed that water contaminated with the mercury and that leads to the 
biomagnification biomagnification it means the concentration of mercury gets increased through the trophic levels of the food chain and ultimately this mercury was reaching to human through these fishes so when the humans were consuming those fishes from the true bay they started to suffer from a disease and that disease was minamata disease and this minamata disease uh, is resulting into the abnormality in the nervous system so how consumption of the contaminated water can lead to disastrous effect on the human health then the waste coming from the leather tanning industry in the leather tanning industry basically the microorganisms are used because they will decompose whatever would be the living matter attached to the leather so the waste coming from the leather tanning industry is will contain different microorganism and one of such microorganism is bacilli bacteria which causes anthrax and it also cause serious water pollution so these are the several ways by which industrial waste is added to the water bodies then agriculture waste is also causing water contamination especially this pesticide this pesticide ddt is banned in usa but still in india we are using this ddt this pesticide also cause biomagnification and if such water will be consumed which will have the uh, contamination through ddt then the person will suffer from different types of hormonal imbalance as well as it will lead to cancer also then excessive use of fertilizers and especially containing these elements like arsenic and chlorides if the fertilizers is containing arsenic this arsenic if it is used in excess amount if the fertilizers will be used in excess amount that will seep down through the soil pores and it will reach to the groundwater table and in such a way the groundwater will get contaminated with arsenic and arsenic causes cancer then fluorides fluorides also cause cancer and the different types of tooth disorder bone disorder and if it is consumed in higher concentration it will cause neuromuscular disorder which may be fatal for the human life so now this is all for today what is your homework your homework is to write down the definition of contamination of water then you have to write down the several ways of contamination of water okay then you write down what is the harmful effect caused by mercury containing water okay the disease caused by bacilli bacteria name the disease caused by bacilli bacteria and last what is the harmful effect of water containing fluoride